Hey guys, this is Adrian from Coldfluent AI. First of all, thank you so much for joining Coldfluent AI. I hope you got the chance to create your first workspace over here and also to set up an agent or multiple agents depending on your needs. As you can see, we already have a couple of workspaces here and we also have a couple of agents, which this is our main agent that is actually set up on Coldfluent official website. Okay, which is actually, you know, right now it has a call in progress and, you know, it's booking calls and booking our calendar for us. Uh, but this is not the only ones that I created. I also have a couple of demos over here, which is actually, you know, I created Clara over here and again, Clara. So this one f was for webinar confirmation. You've probably got a call from it when you sign up for the webinar, just to confirm and, um, uh, instructed to you know book it on your calendar so you show up and you probably did because that's why you're here inside today right uh okay cool so um also we have this one which is actually you had a lot of people signing up for the webinar but not all of them uh managed to show up so we had clara uh actually giving them a call right and um try to you know give them a special coupon just to you know, a join call Sunday and probably you got a call from her as well or probably um you got a discount from, uh, from her right so um this is something that we've developed but uh, what i wanted to show you is actually how you can automate how you can actually use the webhooks and send your um saved leads or your saved prospects or your clients list to uh, initiate the call for you right it's like a, an outbound automation calling video uh, okay, cool. So let me just uh, straight into it. I'm going to open up n8n.io. Uh, this is a platform similar with Zapier or make.com. We also have some automations videos uh, on Zapier on, and um, make.com, but we have none on N, uh, n8n, which I really, really enjoy doing because you know, it gives you a lot of new opportunities over here to play around with the workflows. Okay. So we already have a couple of uh, automations that are actually working right now. Uh, here, if you're not familiar, this is like a uh, workflow automation platform that you can, you know, uh, put AI um, modules and AI agents linked to the modules. And you can, you can pretty much do a lot of stuff with it, you know, uh, especially if you're a little bit, um, I mean, you don't have to be technical. It's simply drag and drop and just select um, options from this right panel. But uh, what I found interesting is like, you know, I exported all my leads to a Google sheet and then I had a, so I, you know, I'm going to explain you this workflow very quickly and it's not something complicated. So when I'm testing this workflow, I want uh, all of my Google sheets uh, data to be filtered with a conditional if, right? So if the phone number and the country code exists, right? And the country code is equal to, let's say I want to call all the Australian numbers, right? So I have here Australia, right? Uh, or if I want to call all, all the people from the US or from the UK, which in my case is uh, Great Britain, uh, right? We can just have, uh, let me just put this because we're going to run this as well. So what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to leave Australia for now, uh, just because I have less leads from Australia and it's going to be going faster, right? So here, what we what we did is actually send all our data to a loop, right? Because we don't want to, you know, in, in get, um, we don't want to send like a hundred leads, a hundred calls in one second, right? Because there's a delay of well, one call per second. It's something from Twilio, which you need uh, to be aware about. Um, so we want to kind of uh, implement a safety measure for that, right? So we're doing a loop over here. This is just a loop node. You can find it over here if you search for, right, loop over items. And so if you can find all of this right here in this field, like you can have if else or switch or whatever nodes, we call these nodes, okay? These are nodes and you can link them. So let me just delete these ones because I don't need them. So we have a loop over here. I can show you that we have like batch size of one, which means uh, it's going to take the list that is coming from here. Once this uh, scenario is true, it's going to go to the loop and for everything in the loop, it's going to do the loop once, right? That's what we want. And we want to implement this wait time of, you know, you, you can do this like three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, depending on you. I'm going to leave it for five on my case. We don't want to send too much calls per second, right? Um, and here, we actually have what's the most important thing. We have an HTTP request node 
Uh, by the way, you can find it over here. You just type HTTP, right? And you have HTTP request because that's what we're going to do. So we're going to, so what happens here? We got the data. We're so, sorting them based on our um, criteria that we send them to the loop. And then what we do, we take the data, right? We take the data over here and do a post to our um, webhook inside Coldflare AI, right? So we're sending the body. We're sending it as a JSON. We are using fields below, right? What we need to get is actually the name, right? The phone number and the email. And this one is optional, right? But I suggest you send it because if you're sending it, the agent is going to be aware of the real email. So if it needs to send some data back to the caller on the email, um, you would prefer to use this instead, the caller saying their email, because sometimes AI doesn't pick it up uh, the right way. So with this, you know, it's going to make sure that you're sending to the right email. So if you have this data, you know, make sure you're using it. And I'll, I'll show you everything that happens. We're going to test the workflow together. And I also have like the affiliate ID and the city because we wanted to share as well you know, to give credit to the affiliates that actually purchased during the call, right? So that's why we included more data. But all you need to include is like, you know, phone number and name. Those are the only ones that we need. And email is also optional and all the other you know, uh, fields that you want to send, you can send them, but they're completely optional. But if you're sending them, make sure inside your account, right, you create them. Okay. So you have, you got to go to your agents, navigate to API and forms, and then see over here, you have optional fields. You can create as many fields as you want and you can give them names and description. Let's say I also want to get more data from the callers, right? So maybe I am interested in... Um, let's say I want to find out the country, right? This lead is calling, right? All I have to do is give it a name and description. And now I can use it actually in my automations if I'm getting this data, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. So once this completes, it goes back in the loop and goes, um, uh, to the next data in the row, right? It's taking row by row. Like if you have like 50 rows, it's going to go through all of them. So let's go ahead and test the workflow and see if it goes. Right. Okay. 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 So here's what's happening actually right now. We have sorted our data. We have like no 940 leads we can call, but we sort them them out and we find 20 leads that you know, meet our if else criteria. All right. And you can do all sort of things with the other data, which is false. You can send them to an AI agent, um, uh, so, so forth. But now it's actually calling and we can go back here to Clara and we can see that is actually making the phone calls, right? So some of them are in progress, some of them are completed, some of them failed or ringing, right? And if we refresh the page, each new call, it's going to be sent over here. Look at this, this is another call in progress, Richard, in progress. Uh, as you can see, this automation works and it's actually calling all of these leads for us. Now I'm gonna stop this automation for now and guess what? It also at the end, right? When we, it finished, it's, it also updates my table, um, my Google sheets with the leads that has been called with a condition that, you know, I've set it to be. So yeah, this is how you're actually creating outbound automations based on your leads, your phone numbers, your, uh, your customers so do make sure you have the permissions to call them. So they gave you express permission to being called by your business. Um, okay guys, this is what I wanted to show you. And, um, also we are preparing some awesome training coming up. Um, uh, we have the three days workshop where we're going to be inviting you to a special workshop and, and show you, uh, even more, you know, um, demonstrations and, uh, real use cases on how you can automate using AI powered phone calling and answering services like this is an outbound automation but you can have also inbound automations we're going to go through that as well it's going to be some amazing days so if you want to find out how you can do these advanced things um you know just reply this email and just let us know what you would be interested to find out uh, exactly and we'll, um we're going to be tailoring the rest of the um, demonstrations to you so uh, before i end up this video i just want to have you know i have one a big request for you. We're going to send you a link 
with a couple of questions. You know, it would be very helpful if you can respond to those and um, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the platform so far. Let us know what challenges you're facing, everything, because I want to tailor the next trainings based on our open discussion. So if you have a couple of minutes, just go ahead there and um, uh, and just fill in all the forms. Thank you so much. I guess I'll see you in the next video and I'll, um, I'll send you the next email uh with another training so make sure uh you are actually taking our email and drag it to your primary tab if you're using google or if you're using any other um uh, email client just go ahead and whitelist our email so do you make sure you're not missing out on all the future uh, upcoming trainings that i have prepared for you thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comment section or let me know what you think in um just by replying the email that you've got this video from all right. Thank you. Bye-bye.